be ready 5 seconds sir it is said brevity is the soul of wit i certainly would like to be called wise and that is why i will be as brief as possible it is my pleasure and privilege to talk about the national anti doping bill 2021 which has been presented by the ministry of youth affairs and sports i congratulate the ministry for having gone into it meticulously and with a visionary approach they have worked on the bill and they have presented this bill today this bill indeed is one with a difference i have been sitting here all through and i have listened to almost 16 honorable members from both the sides and not one honorable member has objected to the contours of the bill this is the beauty of the bill everybody has supported the various provisions of the bill everybody has stood by the concept or the idea of having a legislation related to anti doping in the country the second feature of this particular bill which actually makes it stand out is the fact that it goes against the general notion among the friends on my right side that this government does not send bills to the parliamentary standing committees now this is a bill which was presented in this parliament on 17th december 2021 and this parliament sent it to the parliamentary standing committee the parliamentary standing committee carefully analyzed the contours of the bill examined the bill gave its opinion and submitted the bill again with its recommendations on 23rd march 2022 so this particular bill has gone through tremendous application of mind that is why today it is absolutely visible that not even one honorable member among the 15 members who spoke today has opposed the bill we are all aware of the fact that doping is different from taking alcohol one of our friends from the other side said it and i entirely agree it is different from taking drugs doping refers to the use of substance or technique to illegally improve athletic performance i would also like to go by the definition of interpol interpol defines doping as the act of consuming artificial and illegal substance to gain advantage over others as we talk about sports and khelo india we need to talk about the contribution of the honorable prime minister modi 
and his entire team. I still recall the tweet he made on the National Sports Day. On the National Sports Day, the Honorable Prime Minister had greeted all the sports lovers of the country. He had written on the occasion of the National Sports Day. I congratulate all the sports lovers from all across the country and I hope the sports and sportsmanship will always shine in our society. While quoting him, I would definitely like to emphasize the word sportsmanship. It is very important to have that feeling, that attitude and that approach. Therefore, there is absolutely no place for doping when we talk of sportsmanship. This particular bill has to be made into an act. We have to approve it because this particular government has been talking of clean sports, right sportsmanship and healthy youth. That is why we need to have this. In 2005, we had signed the UNESCO International Convention. We have to be in line with the needs of different countries. Actually, this was ratified on 7th November 2007 by India and that is why we needed to have a legislation. I must tell you that one of the standing committees of yesteryears had actually pointed out that rules cannot suffice. There has to be a legislation. That is why today we are discussing the legislation. I can say with all conviction at my command that the country under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Modi wants it to be the sporting powerhouse and that is why we need to have this. Some of my friends from the other side rightly gave some figures. I would kind of corroborate that and rather kind of add to that. The World Anti-Doping Agency brought out a report in 2019. According to that report, 152 cases of anti-doping rule violations related to Indian athletes. Unfortunately, that number comes to 17% of the total number of cases. That is a major concern and that is why this bill is very important. Sir, I will take two minutes to deal with the contours of the bill. It contains 34 provisions and 7 chapters. It is very well written, very well drafted, meticulously looked into. The bill streamlines the doping control measures through creating the required institutions and empowering them. As we are aware, it clearly shows that the government has zero tolerance towards doping and lays down what would constitute 
Anti Doping Rule Violations. Chapter 3 of the bill seeks to create a national board for anti doping.